Hi, Mark Hinderwood here from Connected Healthcare, here to introduce the remote control used on the MindRay monitoring, bedside monitoring for you today. Uh, today I'm up in the neonatal ICU up at Wellington Hospital and this will give us a chance to have a look at it uh, used in the bed space. It's good for the Benny View and the Benny Vision monitoring, which are the big bedside monitors being rolled out in New Zealand at the moment by Connected Healthcare. So let's have a look. So there is two parts to the remote control. There's the, the handheld remote control part and then the USB dongle that plugs into the back of the monitor. Once the USB is plugged in, you won't notice it. Obviously, it's right in the back of the monitor. However, you do need to remember that it won't work without this. So if you're moving from a bed space to another bed space, you need to take that with you. And this is the remote control, which I'll take you through. So if working from the top, uh, this is the, the yellow button, is corresponds to the monitoring with the orange as well. These are alarm um, presets. The alarm reset is the yellow and the red one is the alarm pause key. You've got up and down, left and right. Left and right, they work for the what, what, how you would be swiping on the screen. So swiping left and right gives you the different screen layouts. And then up and down is when you're in the menu. Um, you can navigate up and down on the menu and you can push OK to, to register that. You've got further down, you've got a standby key, puts the monitor into standby, or a non-invasive blood pressure can be taken with this button. Start, stop. This is an invasive pressure monitoring zero button, and this creates a manual event. So especially with electronic health records, when you want to create a manual event, possibly because uh, the patient's having a feed or a seizure or they're getting up or whatever, that will allow you to input data into the health record. This one is probably the most important one. This is the mouse activation and click button. So when you're using the mouse, the remote control, I'll show you how to use it. But basically when that, that will activate the mouse and then when you're using the mouse, it'll allow you to click as you would with a mouse. This one is the main menu button to find your main menu. So let's go have a look at the monitor. Okay, so here we are. Uh, setting up in the bed space. The first thing I'm going to do is grab the USB dongle and pop it into the back of the monitor. In this case I'm going to use the, the left hand side um, USB connection point. It does matter which one you use. In this case on this monitor, the N17, we've got those four available and we wouldn't be using these ones for an example. So if you're not sure just check in with your connected healthcare representative. Uh, the handpiece itself, the, what I'm going to do is, first thing is push the mouse click button that wakes up the mouse function, which is one of the most useful parts of the remote control itself. Once I've done that, um, the mouse is navigatable on the screen just by waving the remote control around like this. So here you go, and then I'm going to click that one there to resume monitoring. So I'm going to use that click button, I wave the remote control around to get that moving and then I push this to get that um, mouse click happening as it were. So um, these two ones down at the bottom, these are pretty handy. Obviously in the clinical situation the alarm on and off, uh, the reset and the pause are going to be really handy. But for the sake of this, I'm mainly going to use these two. This is the clicking the mouse button and this is the main screen. So if we push the, um, the main screen and the main menu button, that's that one there, down the bottom on the right, and then that brings up the main menu. And you can choose something to look at. What I'm going to do before I go there is I'm going to show you with the mouse click, you can click on the bottom little parts of that window to get um, the different pages. I'm going to say it's a whole lot easier when you're not doing a video at the same time, but there you go. So I can click on the events and that will bring up my event menu for example. I'm going to choose this one here and go down to detail. And what I'm doing is I'm waving my mouse, my sorry, my remote around and clicking that button to, to make these functions. Okay, next up I'm going to push the, the main menu button and going back to your main screen there. Here's an, another example of using it. I'm going to point it up to the heart rate alarm or the heart rate 
in that area, click on there, and that brings up the heart rate menu. I'm going to the um, wave it around until I get to high alarm rate. And in this case, I'm going to actually use these up and down buttons to navigate bringing that heart rate alarm back to 180, for example, and pushing OK in the middle to get there. And I can push the main menu button to get back onto the main screen. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a, um, there's a bunch of buttons there, just reorientating. That's a clicking button I've been using, the main menu button. Those are two of the main ones, along with your alarm resets. But I, I showed you as well, up and down and OK. So you've got the zero IBP, creating a manual event, doing a manual non-invasive blood pressure, and then putting it into standby mode. We'll finish off with that one, shall we? So these left and right, these are for swiping the screen or how you'd normally swipe, swipe the screen. I'm gonna push that one there. That'll change it to the SPO2 screen in this case, um, with the focus on the saturations. This one's a big numerics with the uh, Yes, there are two statistics in this case on the bottom right hand corner there. So um, let's put it into standby mode now. We push the button that looks like a standby and um, then you can use the, the mouse to confirm that. So there we are, back in standby. Great, so that's a brief video on how to use the remote control interfacing with the mind ray monitoring. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what it looks like in the clinical area. I've got to say with distance of the remote, no problem at all. I had it up to about 30 or 40 metres within the unit, going through glass and wood, and no problem at all. It's an RF frequency, so uh, the pickup uh, at a distance is just fine. In fact, I couldn't even see what was going on hardly and it was still working, so there you go. If you're interested in any of this gear, just talk to your local Connected Healthcare representative and we'll set you up, give you a look at it. Thanks, bye.